A mother and her daughter were among the three people killed in a chain reaction crash late last night. It happened on US 75, just south of the Bush Turnpike in Richardson. Officers were first called to the area because of a stalled vehicle in traffic, but by the time officers arrived, two cars had plowed into that stalled SUV. Fox Force Peyton Yeager is live with new details on the victims. Peyton. Steve, and we learned the mother and daughter who were killed are 27 year old Haley Taylor and little Ava. Uh, Taylor's family is not ready to speak publicly at this time. They tell me that they were just celebrating Halloween festivities last night. As for an update in this investigation, Richardson police just released a press release this afternoon telling us that officers were en route to the call of the stalled SUV in the HOV lane when the collisions took place. Drivers on Dallas's Highway 75 were able to take their normal rush hour routes Friday afternoon. A much different scene from late Halloween night, where three people were killed in a horrific chain reaction crash in the southbound lanes of 75 near the George W. Bush Turnpike intersection. That included 27-year-old Haley Taylor and her six-year-old daughter, Ava. Taylor's family tells Fox 4 they were headed home from Halloween celebrations when their Lexus SUV slammed into the back of a stalled Cadillac SUV in the HOV lane. And then a Dodge sedan hit the back of Taylor's Lexus. When the collisions took place, the driver and six passengers in the Cadillac were standing outside the vehicle. One of the passengers, 19-year-old Aliyah Khalid, died on scene. Taylor and her daughter died at the hospital. At least seven people in total were hospitalized. Five people from the Cadillac and two people from the Dodge sedan. A tragic scene that shut down the southbound lanes of 75 for nearly nine hours. Richardson crash investigators surveyed the damage along 75. First responders from Plano and Richardson were on scene and families embraced in the middle of the flashing lights. Steve, again, this happened last night, Thursday evening, just before midnight, so people were on the road. It was Halloween night, so we know at least two other vehicles were hit by debris when the collisions took place. Those people inside the two vehicles, they were not injured. Again, seven people were taken to the hospital. Their conditions remain unknown. However, I just received an update from the family of the man who was in the Blue Dodge. They tell me he is still in the hospital this evening, and he is receiving emergency surgery at this hour. Steve. All right, Peyton Yeager, thank you.